this video I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom cover for the digital planner create this artistic look let's get started so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Canva create a new design US letter this is for portrait if you want horizontal then you will just use 11 by 8.5 then you just click on it and create a new page now that I have a new page I'm gonna go to elements type in ballerina and then I'm gonna add this girl to my page then I just click edit image background remover that's it then while I'm waiting I'm gonna click text by the way if you see that some elements are missing then you can always erase or restore then we click apply then I click text and then just add the text I want I'm gonna type in 2023 for this kind of design I recommend that you have text or a number that includes either a zero or O just to have that circular shape but you can also be creative with this so I'm gonna make this number as big as I can so let's make it even bigger and now that I have that number I'm gonna move my model and I'm going to remove some of this empty space so it's easier for me to work with this and then after that we're going to just resize her to make sure that she's placed nicely in our design. Now that I have her here I'm going to copy and paste another one and then just adjust her so she's in the same place and then here I'm going to remove a lot of the image like that and Voila, the design is basically done. Now, what I do next is I click on the girl and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna apply colors to page. And now, as you can see, it picks up the colors from the image and just applies the colors this way. So I'm gonna just duplicate this and create multiple images. I really like that it's, um, I don't know why there's only two. Oh, here we go. There, I really like that they also changed the text. So. It's very nice. So we have two options over here. And let's say this one, I want to make her black and white. So I'm gonna remove the saturation for both of these. And then it still doesn't look that good. We're gonna add some contrast. Sorry for the construction, by the way. So I'm gonna add some contrast and let's say I'm gonna add 55. So then I just copy and add it here to this other image. So we have both. Now she really stands out. After that, what we can do is, of course, you can move this, you can make this bigger or smaller the way you want it, but I like this big and I even like it a little bigger. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some grain to this to add that texture. You can either change the background only, so let's say I type in grain over here and then I go to photos and then I just add it over here like that and I'm gonna remove the transparency so you can barely see it it's over there another way you could do this let's remove this for now is again add grain and instead of just zooming it like that with this type of grain I usually like to turn the page so I because I like the smaller grains more so that's again personal preference and then I just add it like that so I'm gonna remove the transparency and this is the final look sometimes it pops in front but we can move wherever we want it so I can move it like that or I can move it a little bit forward so it's some parts are grainy some parts aren't I can also just click on the model and make sure the cheese at the very very top uh, well not that much okay wait uh, but up and then this I can change the position as well but and change the color if you don't like the color so here it is here's the final look or you can add something to this now another thing I want to show you to add a little bit more even more interest is we're gonna go to apps and then you're gonna turn on the draw app so if you go to apps and you can't find it, just type in draw and then you will be able to find it. So here it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose the highlighter tool and then I'm going to color pick the colors from this design. So let's say I pick this purple, but I'm going to make it a little more extra. So that's the color I chose. And then I make the size really big for to make my life easier. And then I just draw basically. Uh, however I want and I'm just gonna click again on this and then I'm just gonna change it up a little bit so to have multiple colors 
So I'm gonna draw it a little there, a little bit here, just going a little crazy over here. Now, after I'm done, I'm gonna click done, and then I'm gonna edit the image and I'm gonna increase the blur. So we're gonna go crazy with the blur, like that. And now we can choose the transparency. And one of the cool things about this, well, we can also go a little bit back. So the girl is at the front or we can move it forward. So everything's covered. We can make sure that some of the parts of the girl are showing. So for example, if I really want to show the arm or something, I can always go back to the drawing and click on it. and add some more things. So let's say I want to make sure she's here. Let's add it. Let's make her face in the middle. And let's add some more crazy stuff. So let's add some other colors. So instead of adding that uh, purple that I was adding before, what we can do is we can move the slider slightly and then add it like that. And then I'm gonna make the size bigger and I'm gonna go crazy again this and a little bit here as well and maybe let's add a little bit even even brighter color so i'm gonna go crazier so we're gonna get a little bit like that and i'm gonna click done and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the image and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna increase the blur so here we can then move it to the back if we feel like it would look better and this is the final look we can also add the noise very quickly so just click on it paste it and here is with the noise maybe let's increase decrease the transparency and we can also put it at the very very back or up whichever you like more that's it i hope that this is helpful if you want more videos like that just leave a comment below thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye